to protect and serve. It's a statement that many of our nation's police force stand by. For Officer Marcus Elam of Tampa PD, his passion to help others came at an early age. My dad worked for the, in, in the city of Chicago and uh, he, and as a inspe city inspector, and um, through his job I'd go to work with him every so often and was at the police department downtown Chicago. And seeing those guys, I think that made me want to be, you know, somewhat like him and also a police officer. So I've always liked the idea of like helping people and, you know, those that can't help themselves. Now with over nine years experience, Marcus is a member of the Tampa Police Department and soon found himself facing an unexpected adversary. I was working uh, here at Tampa, of course, and things started happening. I would like break out into these sweats. I was out of breath a lot. Also, I started noticing that my heart rate was really, you know, high, elevated. So um, one day while at work, my supervisor said, you need to get that checked out. And I went to the fire department and my resting heart rate at that time was 99 beats a minute. They said, you need to get checked out, something's wrong. So um, the very next day, went to a doctor. My doctor thought something was wrong. He sent me to an oncologist, did testing, and through that, they found that I had cancer. After his first round of chemotherapy, Marcus's cancer scans were clear. One year later, it returned in the form of Hodgkin's lymphoma, sending him to Moffitt Cancer Center for stem cell treatment. After treatment, after, you know, kind of coming back, my gum belt's about 27 pounds, 27 and a half pounds. I could barely lift it. I was thinking like, wow, I, I walk around with this thing every day, all day, like, you know, no big deal, my best. You know, that was a heavy thing, I couldn't lift that up. It was a really slow process. Um, towards the end of that 21 days and your stem cells start to like really kind of grow and take effect on you, you notice like slowly but surely you're getting stronger and stronger. With the support of his fellow officers, Marcus regained his strength. Five years into his recovery, Marcus can now get back to the simpler joys in life, like cheering on his Buccaneers. Hey, give us, give us Marcus. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, you man. Good day, man. Thank you for all you do. Now, more than five years out, had no more symptoms, getting stronger each day. I work out quite a bit, and I love it. It makes you appreciate life. I'm, I'm a big Bucks fan. It makes you really appreciate the little things that you take for granted. So it gave me a lot of hope. That